working yet, so I might get kicked off, but stick with us. Stick with us, please. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. It's the connection is shitty. Once we get marching and uh, we hit our friends, I think that uh, we'll be okay. Oh, take climate action now. Gonna move Woo! Thank you guys. I read you. <laughs> They're all wanting me to get out of the way. <laughs> it's all right. Finally keeping my connection. Hi there. Say hi. You're live on Environmental Coffee House. I'll give you a card. Here you go. This is our card. 
here. You're welcome. I'm gonna go find, I gotta walk a little bit with the crowd so I can find my buddies so they don't march without me. That would be most, <laughs> kind of unfortunate, wouldn't it, guys? This is amazing. There they are. Thank you. There you go. to me like we're finally getting uh oh boy i don't know kim maybe half a million well i'll tell you it looks to me like we're finally going to be able to keep the connection i'm really happy because uh i was getting kicked off and really was starting to get actually it was really starting to get sad and i don't want to get sad on a day that i want to be happy at least one day climate happy just because of the people oh my goodness let's get her i look at it oh my god this is just amazing i uh i guess the problem was my um hi there i think it was the bluetooth was uh interfering uh, let's see let's see mom what is it, network? Okay. Monarch Teacher. Thank you. And Environmental Coffee House. Here you go. There you go. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good deal. Are you guys sharing for me? I hope so, because I'm. it's staying now. If I had a share button, I would when I'm filming, but I can't. I need a share army out there, really. Share to the groups and share to your friends. And I, I know that there's a lot of competition. You know, I do. Everybody's here and Inspire Bank exits. And but you know what? We're doing a lot of good stuff at Environmental Coffee House. And I'm really proud of us. I really am. We are boots on the ground activists. Roger and Cindy, she's uh, live in Houston and she's also streaming between the um, Houston. She's on the group and our page. Wow. So uh, I can't tell you how proud I am of her. And then of course, where is my group? Uh, okay, let's walk over. I don't know, I seem to get to... There's my B, and there's a B. And Jackie, I finally got a connection. I don't want to lose it. George? She got arrested for being up in Syracuse about 14 months ago. Hello. Where are you from? DC. DC, here you go. Check out our page. Thank you. Pretty sure he's gonna hear about this today. Or Monka, who's one of the goodbyes. <gasps> Jordan! Oh my god. There you go. Jordan! Know, it's this is what I'm talking about. You Sandy! Coming up to you. Environmental Coffee you House. Oh, I love that. You know me. Say hi to the yeah. Hi guys. There you go. Yeah. I'm Chelsea's good friend. What? Yes, Sandy. I know who you are. Yeah. Who are you, hey. Why are you out here today? Oh, I'm out here for Environmental Coffee House to show my viewers everything that's going on. I'm out here to say to Donald Trump, you're not gonna take us back. We are not going back 40 years and we are absolutely going to save our planet. And uh, we have a message. We are with Environmental Coffee House and I met you in Philly, it was great. Yeah, He's did. my buddy. There Thank you, you. Thank you. Come to our page. That was great. All right. So I just got uh, interviewed by Jordan and that was awesome and I did some shameless self-promotion. I loved it. That was great.
Hi guys. I just got uh, interviewed by Jordan. Yeah, so it was great. Uh -huh. Finally, he, he goes, oh, he knows. But I gave him the card. Come on guys, stick with me. Well, yeah, Jordan knows that I know Chelsea. She's my daughter, for God's sakes. You know, one of my adopted daughters of 43 out there. March for my grandchildren. Here you go. You're on Environmental Coffee House and say hi. What's your name? Hi, Irene. Thanks for being here. Where are you from? You from here? No, Massachusetts. All right. Yeah. I really don't. Oh, now these are people. I don't know. I'm supposed to be marching with, uh, oh, look at this. Honor our sacred grounds. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, man, guys, you got to share this. This is beautiful. You have to share this. Wow. Beautiful people. Beautiful people! I love you! Right. All right! Woo! Now that was beautiful. You have to say. That was beautiful. All right! I'm pretty happy that Jordan hooked up with me for a minute. I met him in Philly, and uh, actually, I'll tell you the truth, I did a video for uh, Truth Against the Machine, and uh, they asked me to uh, do a piece for them, but they want like, you know, two pieces a, a week, and uh, I don't know, you know, Environmental Coffee House is my dream, and I love what I'm doing, and I love the team, and and you know, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I want to have my guest streamers. I want to have Chelsea with me. You know, I want to have these guys and George. And if I went with uh, Truth Against the Machine, it would take a lot out of me, and I wouldn't be able to put into what I put into to Environmental Coffee House. And we're growing. We're really growing. And I'm so proud of everybody that is with us. I can't tell you. I am so proud of all of you and that you guys come and watch and read. And pretty soon when we grow that website, we're gonna have articles. It's gonna be terrific. I am here because of you. Don't forget it. Oh boy, do we have belly dancers coming? Ah! Oh, the Harry Christians! I met the Harry Christians in high school. When I was in seventh grade, now that was in the 70s, right? I had a great social studies teacher. She actually brought the Harry Krishnas to our school. Well, in seventh grade, I was absolutely ready to run away to be a Harry Krishna. <laughs> Honest to God, I was going to be a Harry Krishna. They just turned me on so much, but of course that's back in 1970, and I'm not going to say when. Look how I... Amadre Padre Om! Hey, I almost became a Harry Krishna in the 70s, <laughs> in high school. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I love it. Beautiful. This is the Harry Krishnas. Thank you. seeing the Hardy Christian. Here guys, check out our page. Where are you guys from? Alright, yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah. Wow, I'm really glad I saw Jordan. That was cool because he'll go back and tell Chelsea. <laughs> I love her. getting cut off so I'm happy thank you no I'm a happy that's all right I'm the wrong way anyway I'm surprised people aren't yelling at me but you know what it's a beautiful day why would they yell why would they yell at me it's endless it is an endless parade I, I must have hit all this traffic yesterday Okay, yeah, look at this, check them out. Well, somebody passed out already probably. It's hot. I love your stuff. Here guys, here, I'm gonna, I'll give you somebody. Environmental Coffee House, you're live, say hi, hi. to America. You guys, yep, yeah, and you guys are, yeah, I like what you're doing. I have a little sticker on my car that says, when the bees go, we're going with them. That's right. I put it on the car. You're very imaginative, everybody. Very 
imaginative. I really do like it. Everybody's great. Thank you. This is like this is awesome. Awesome. And it just keeps coming and they just keep coming. There's a beekeeper. There's the beekeepers. That's right. I got a little sticker that says when the bees go, we go with them. Yeah. It's sad. It is. Where are you guys come from? New York. Where in upstate or western? Upstate. Western. Oh, Hudson Valley. I used to live there. I'm from uh, western now. Oh, yeah. Hudson Valley. All right. I think we're going to start marching. Where's our people? Jordan's fan. How are you? Oh, stop. He, the only reason why I'm Jordan's fan is because I love Chelsea. I guess we're starting to march. Where's our people? I think the church has already passed by. I oh. think we might have missed her church. All right, well, I got a lot of them, so we're staying live, guys. Let's kill. As long, and, and you know what? My battery is, uh, I got one of these. Yep, that's an awesome. And then, after that, I got the big ass battery charger in the world, in my backpack. So here we are, and uh, still marching. You're still with me. I haven't lost connection. I am happier than hell that I haven't lost connection. You know what? Environmental Coffee House makes my heart sing because I feel like I found there's a planet floating above what I Pennsylvania need. Avenue. Oh wow! Pete says there's a planet. All right. <laughs> floating above Pennsylvania. Avenue. <laughs> a planet floating above Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah, Environmental Coffee House gives me a reason to get up in the morning, guys. I don't know if you know my whole story, but it's it's absolutely something that I hold near and dear in all of you. <laughs> and we hold you near and dear, my dear. Me, wait, me and Pete. Me and Pete. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to cry or be anything like that, but Pete, I'm going to tell right. you guys that a few years ago, I was not such a happy person. Then Bernie came along. Oh, and then all the people I met through Real Progressives and now we're like lifetime friends forever. Forever, forever, forever. 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 <laughs> you gotta watch our uh, stream from last night. We uh, sat, I don't know anybody if anybody did it. I can't see the comments, but we were at the Luke Munns, and we were on their channel, uh, Coffee Politics and with the Luke Munns or Luke Munn Nation. I, I shared it to uh, the Environmental Coffee House uh, group. We had a really good conversation about everything. Pete started it out by the question, where are we going to be in 200 years? And we were having dinner, and I said, you know, we really ought to live stream this because you got four really passionate activists here discussing this. And now we have five. We did, yeah, we have five. five. And we did a real good discussion. There they all are. <laughs> we did a really good discussion, and uh, I know I was the one that was with the sixth extinction, but you know, they call something it's called hopium and maybe I got hopium maybe I have hopium and I'll tell you what I can't give up my hopium and the near term <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm spreading around the hopium but the near term human extinction people call it hopium and uh, it's really all right because that's how they feel but I know how I feel and I got you guys. What do we want? Climate justice. What do we want? Now. Climate justice. Now. Climate justice. Now. Yeah. I'll tell you what, thank God I've got a, a hat on. <laughs> hat, sweatband. <laughs> I'm not a good heat person. You all know where I live. I like it cold. <laughs> Woo! We want it now! <laughs> cute. You're cute. You're on Environmental Coffee House. Say hi. 
Hey, what's up? Where are you from? I'm from New York City. All right, what's your name? My name is Joel Marsh. All right, well, we're proud to have you here. Make sure, oh, I don't have another card. Wait, I, nope. I got to get you a card, but we are Environmental Coffee House on Facebook. Look for our Facebook page. We are um, really good. <laughs> We're really good. I got to find my people, though. I, I don't want to lose them. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I didn't lose them. We all got this on. Yep. Yep. It's a great page. Actually, see the two up there? Right there. That's Jackie Lukman. She does a show called Brick by Brick on Wednesday nights. Her husband right there, Ab, Ab, AB. He's he, under the umbrella? Yeah. He is uh, going to start being uh, one of our environmental um, uh, streamers. And he comes from a, a, a unique perspective. Uh, growing up in Camden, New Jersey, he's got a different view than you know other some other activists. So, um, but we've been friends for a long time, and uh, I'm well, staying yeah, with them. You know what it is about this climate thing? It's, it's not. It's, it's not that. It's not that these people don't know that it's going on. It's clear as day. Yeah. You know what, I mean? what it is is. Oh, wow. They, they got money in, in, in the pockets and all that. Oh, yeah. So, you know, so they want to keep doing that to keep generating that money. It's all about money. They don't care about the world. They don't care about none of that. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're right. But if they is. if they realized there was money in renewables, they would change. It's a, but they want to keep that money in a certain area, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, we're gonna yeah, change it. Yeah, yeah. And are. you are a millennial. You're gonna change it. Cause us boomers, we fuck you guys up. And I'm sorry. I apologize to you boomers all the time. I'm gonna adopt you. You could be you could be another son. I'm gonna adopt you right now. Here we go. Here's my here's my new son from New York City. What's up, what's up? <laughs> love it, I love it. Oh my god. Now I have a few sons. Oh boy. I got 43 daughters in the movement. <laughs> now I got three sons. <laughs> you hook up with me. Word, word. I'm going to get back to my people though. You get back to your people. Hook up on the Environmental Coffee House. Oh yeah, that's our sign. That is our sign. Hope. Heal our planet Earth. Erin Divine, that was for you. Erin Divine is our faithful watch her viewer she is a supporter of all of the progressive uh nation i love erin with all my heart i have not met erin but i know her i know her heart and when we did that thing and i asked everybody when i was down in florida and i said come up with something erin came up with heal our planet earth and then mindy mindy made the graphic Mindy Dunham from California, who is the graphics extraordinaire. She has done all of our graphics. And I love Mindy. Who don't I love? <laughs> I really love everyone. Even if people hurt me, I forgive them. It's just the way you have to be, I think. So guys, are you enjoying this? I hope you are. Because now that I figured out what the hell was wrong, <laughs> I really, really hope that you're enjoying this and with this trip along with me and uh, my people that everybody's wearing our shirts. Like, you know, I I'm, uh, I'm happy. Thank you. So I guess we're kind of in the back, but we'll get up there. And then I'll edit the page try to get I don't know if you guys got the interview with the dude from uh, uh, that had the idea about everybody chipping in money and what we could do for the climate if that's where our money went to one place and then we could say F the government because we're gonna take it in our hands we're gonna take it in our hands the people's hands yeah the people's hands us Look at all the people here. And that Donald Trump is in Pennsylvania. 
with his right wing NRA assholes today. And I'm sorry, I'm hot, it's 90 degrees, but that guy is taking us backwards. 40 years to my childhood when they used to dump and I used to live in Westchester and the Bronx and used to drive down the FDR Parkway and, and the, the, the New England Thruway and see all those buildings spewing out that black, ugly, dirty freaking air and guess what? If those people have their way and you know it's all the Koch brothers because the Koch brothers have been doing this for a long time. They got in, we're going to get them out. We are going to get them out. Let's hear the singing. California to the North. Pete, Pete. Okay, we're going to go in the shade a little bit. This land was made for you and me. Come on, guys, share, share, share. I know. Inspired by Gags, this probably got 150, 200, 300 people. And I got four, five, but I got quality. <laughs> quality over quantity. <laughs> no, I like them too. I got no problem with anybody. In fact, my page highlights. You know, Environmental Coffee House highlights everybody. We are the clearinghouse for all. And that's why I will have everybody on there. Last night I put Cat McHugh's damn news uh, little graphic video on and I will highlight uh, the doomsday people and I'll highlight the climate deniers because we're all about education. Well, Sandy and I are pretty close to being doomsday people. <laughs> well, Things are not looking good. They're but not. you know what? That's you why got I say too much corporate greed. You got the one percent destroying everything. The one percent holds seventy-six percent of the wealth in this country. Yep. Uh, the sea levels are rising. Fracking is fracking has been proven to cause earthquakes. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around. Let me, okay, you talk. So things are not looking good. Well, but we're gonna make them better. And we're going to have our hopium, guys! We're going to have our hopium. Yeah. And you know, when I come on and I do my live streams, I try to be upbeat. But you know, at any, any chance I get, you know what I say. Donald Trump and his four horsemen of the apocalypse. F you. <laughs> F you. All right, where's our other peeps? I don't see the green t-shirts. Up, no, they're up there. The they're oh, we're actually ahead. The, we're the, the slow pokes. Pokes. <laughs> They're actually ahead of us. <sighs> we're gonna be passing Trump Hotel. Oh wow! Which used to be the old post office pavilion, one of the, the most beautiful, architecturally beautiful buildings in the whole city. And he bought it. Now it's Trump Hotel. And so a lot of people come down here and protest. Like, okay. This so it's like landmark has been ruined and taken over by you know President Trump. Yuck! It's a very sad state of affairs, ain't it? And I don't mean so it. You're gonna hear more anti-Trump chants now. Of here. course we are. I mean, look at all these people. They voted for what they thought they was right, and we got a fascist White House. Not that I'm trying to be so political. I can't help it. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, the building for the Cross House is what we know in D.C. as the Oops. I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. At the old post office. I saw the weather girls come on there. Oh, they're cool. I thought we were there the same year. We're in the ambulance. It was my sister. Jackie's streaming. The celebration was at the old post office. This building that we're coming up on now. Hey, Rex. Who's here so I can see? It's really dark. It's hard for me. It's really hard for me to see. Well, oh, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Glad that you're here. We're sweltering. 
but it was worth it. And if I lose five pounds today, I'll be real happy. <laughs> Jackie's been feeding me well, though. <laughs> Well, actually, her husband cooked last night. Man, he's a good cook. I've been giving out my new cards, but I gave out so many, I gotta open my backpack and get them. But I don't want to stop to get them. George might be able to get them out, but I'll wait. Oh, my business cards, but that's all right. I've been giving them out. I gave out a ton. Here, Jackie live streaming. That DC residents um, participated in here. So when he says that, that nobody um, was using this building before he bought it, that's Flat just a lie. Flat out lie. Okay. Okay. But he is a pathological liar. So somebody who sounds like somebody else we knew. Sounds like somebody else we knew. Right. But for right. well, somebody, for the people who don't live in Washington, D.C., they don't know that. <laughs> they don't know that this building was not empty and like it was a center. Can you hear Jackie? Um, uh, kind of social life. So, and now DC residents can't afford to stay in a, in a uh, stay a night in a room. No, in, in this damn hotel. So expensive. This, you know, one of our great, one of our great Ooh, social see? landmarks. Got a little sweat here. From <laughs> us, bought out from under us. Ninety and degrees. Our DC City Council let it out. Feels like I'm back in Philadelphia at the convention, where we like sweltered the whole week we were there. Polluter industrial. Yep, and yeah, now people are booing it. Polluter. Oh, listen. But this, this building, Boo! building used to belong to the residents of Washington, D.C. And Donald Trump lied and said that it wasn't being used, came in, bought it, and turned it into a five to eight hundred dollar a night hotel where DC residents can't even afford barely to walk in the damn door. We used to have all kinds of celebrations here. So the man is a liar, and people who don't live in this area don't know that he was lying. But I'm here to tell you that he was. Shame! 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 booing the Trump Hotel and that pussy ass Trump doesn't even have the balls to be in Washington DC today because he's in Pennsylvania with his little right-wing minions who watch nothing but Fox and are brainwashed sorry but I had to be a little political because I do believe it Fox is ruined it's got to go Me too. I'm watching. She's live. Oops. What's that? Oops. All right. Sorry. Man, I, I'm so glad I brought a hat. I would have been sweating my ass. Look at 
Yes. Uh, is she okay? Okay. That's gonna be a good picture, actually. Amazing. Have you ever heard anything like this? Share this. Please share. Look, Trump International Hotel. Look at that. Okay, I don't want to lose my people. Neoliberalism, Jackie's saying, and neocons, man. I wish I could see your comments. Hello! <laughs> I need to get some of my cards out. I've been giving them out all day, man. Promoting environmental coffee house, because we're going to grow. And I hope you all follow us to our website. Oh, look, there's George with, with the environmental coffee house sign. Look at that. Oops. That looks good. Hope. Oh, looks great. I love it. <laughs> out there. You with us? Hi Roger. It's very sunny so I'm probably going to have to read a lot of these tonight. Oh well, we're stopped for now. People are sitting down. Oh boy. Sitting down on this hot pavement in the sun. Come on, guys. Well, people are sitting down. Pete! We want to sit in the, uh, the shade. We want to sit in the shade, though. Pete's going to have to find us and figure out what's going on. Oh, okay. People find us. We got to get into some shade. Us sweaty older folks have to sit. Oh, this is much better. So at 2 o'clock is the sitting time. And uh, I didn't put my back brace on. And... I'm not sure I can sit. <laughs> I have my back race in my backpack, but I'm going to follow the loop bonds. And... All right. Now I can see some of your stuff. All right. We are going to sit on the wall. Can I get up here? Oh, I don't know if I can either, but we're going to lean. Aw, Victoria, you're so sweet. I'm gonna go sit right there. Okay. I'm gonna sit next to you. If you can help me get down. I had a hard time too. Okay. All right, my back too. And I didn't put on my back brace, which is in my backpack, which isn't helping. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I guess we get a little break. Hi, A Raquel. Thank you for coming with us. A Raquel Bloss, Progressive Independent Party. could look up for me on their computer and tell me exactly what the two o'clock thing is for. We're supposed to be really quiet. And uh, I don't want to cut the live stream because I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm afraid that I'll lose it again like I did earlier. I don't know. Hello. So, uh, been quite a day guys and uh, I'm really happy that I figured out the problem oh here come more people I I don't know it's great though you know I love you all this is DC Pat we're in DC and uh, I'm sitting down and I got my environmental coffee house shirt on and I'm really happy that you guys are with us and I'm not sure exactly what the two o'clock significance is, uh, but whatever it is, gives me a break to wipe a little sweat. <laughs> I don't know what they were chanting. All right, let's see. Something's going on. I can't get up to see what it is. I'm gonna try to get up and see what it is. Now, trying to get up is going to be the fun part. <laughs> All right. I really have no idea what's going on. But I need the break in the shade. So I'm going to walk a little bit. Guys, I'm just going to walk over here a little. I'm going to walk over here a little. I'm going to stay in the shade because, you know, Mama here can't... Uh, can't take too much sun. That's why, you know, I live in western New York. <laughs> in the southern tier. Because it's cold. Alright. I think people are just starting to, um... Hi! They're just starting to yell for yelling sake. Hello! Hi. How are you guys? Hello. Hey. What's your name? Catherine. Where are you from, Catherine? Baltimore. All right. Baltimore. Western New York. You're on Environmental Coffee House Facebook page. Thank you for coming, ladies. I love it. I, I tell you what, I love everyone here. Today, my heart is so full of love, it's just not funny. And I, I was upset earlier when I kept losing the connection, but I'm okay now. I'm actually really happy. And, uh, oh, wait, let's see. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Hi, what's your name? And where are you from? Um, from Maryland. Okay, well, it's cool you're here. Thank you. Activist at heart. You're on Environmental Coffee House Live. I don't know if I've seen the same face twice. They're beautiful. Oh, look at it. Say hi. She's adorable. Look at her. Oh my God, so beautiful. And another beautiful kid. Hi. How are you? What's your name? What is it? Hi, Isha. Oh my gosh, that's the future. Isha is why we are here. We are here for Isha and her little brother because those are the people that we have to clean up this goddamn climate for. And I'm sorry, but we have to get Trump out of office. Can I see your sign, ladies? She's, oh, that's beautiful. You are live on Environmental Coffee House. And uh, what's your name? Meredith. What is it? Meredith. Meredith and? Julie. And where are you from, guys? From Philly. Philly, okay. Why are you here? Uh, climate change policies, protecting our wild lands, 
Protecting the Endangered Species Act. Beautiful. Uh, and giving our children a future. Oh, thank you so much. And you? She summed it up. <laughs> she summed it up. All right. Well, you know what? You both look absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. You're on Environmental Coffee House. They were cool. I, that's a, my favorite part. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Where are you from? Bethesda, Maryland. How about All you? right. Western New York Southern Tier. Hello. You are why we are here. For you guys. What's your name? My name's Isaac. Isaac, where are you from? I'm from Maryland. Maryland? Well, you are live on Environmental Coffee House, so say hi, because people are watching from all over the world. And why are you here? Uh, we're here because we don't like what Donald Trump thinks about climate change. Okay. He thinks it's fake, but clearly, as you can see, all these people here believing it's not. I mean, I don't see how he believes it's not real. Yeah, I don't either. That's why we're here. Thank you, sweetheart. You will be live on Environmental Coffee House. Find us on Facebook. You're welcome, Mom. <laughs> I knew you were Mom. Beautiful Mom. Hi, guys. I like it over here. These are smart ones in the shade. <laughs> Yeah, these are all hip. Whoop, gotta see the sun. Wow. Very nice. What's your name? Hi, where are you from? Louisville, Kentucky. Right on. Well, you are live with Environmental Coffee House on Facebook. So tell us a, a little about why you came. Uh, well, because I have a grandson and I want to fight for climate Beautiful. I'm also very fond of lions and tigers and elephants, and I want them to get some keep with them too. Oh, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful people. Celebrity. Beautiful people. <laughs> Beautiful people. I love it. It just doesn't end. You're live on Environmental Coffee House. Say hello. 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 I got to get some more of my cards out of my bag. <laughs> Break free from fossil fuels. Right on. I hope everybody's sharing this. Look at this. Look out here. I mean, it is never ending. It is never ending. It's beautiful. I'm so proud to be able to be here. Oh, look, they got a pipeline. Let's see if I can get, look at that. That was imaginative. Wow, I like that. Okay, Cindy, thank you for being at the Houston event. <laughs> Climate change is real, you fucking punks. That was her size, her sign. I liked it. I don't want to go uh, off, and um, but I gotta get some cards out of my backpack. I'm gonna see if George can unzip me, but he's sitting down. I wonder if I could put my camera somewhere where you can still see. I wonder. Anybody feel like holding a phone camera? You wanna hold a phone camera? You wanna hold it? No, I just, cause I gotta get something out of my back. Okay. All you have to do is just hold it and show the crowd. Look at, hello, he's holding it and showing the crowd. I'm gonna get my, uh, let's see. Yep, that's perfect. Perfect! I knew I could get somebody to help me. How about this other part of the crowd over here? You can do whatever you want. Thank You're you. the cameraman now. <laughs> I just had to get some more of my card. My card? Our 
This is live on Environmental Coffee House. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's lots oh, of people in Western watching New you. York. Uh -huh. We are out of Western New York, but my team is uh, nationwide. Oh, how about that? Well, thank you for. Oh, wait, nope. I can't do that. You know, it's pretty bittersweet, though, that it's so hot. And uh, for this time of the month, yeah, right? yeah. a year, you know, it's kind of crazy. It is well, crazy. Well, thank you so thank much. You, good luck. Thank you. What is your name? Ted. Ted, where are you from? All right, New Jersey. And why did you guys come? We are very concerned about the environment. Yeah. And where it's going. Thank you. We had a thunderstorm that killed Mark this morning. Power went off. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Jeez. And yeah, I know. It's like uh, I went to Philly for the uh, convention and it was hot like this, but it was July. Oh, of and it was July in Philadelphia. Well, thank you for being here. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Dawn. Hi, Dawn. That's my daughter's name. That's a beautiful name. Never met a Dawn that wasn't beautiful. There you go. Thank you for being here. This, this is rocks, man. This is. <laughs> We're on Facebook, but. Uh, it's a, it's a, no, it's a Facebook page, Environmental Coffee House. I'm with you. Okay. And uh, we named it because it's a clearinghouse for all things environmental, and we, we cover everything. And we are on the ground. I have a team all over the United States, and we're on the ground, and we do these kinds of things, and we publish uh, a lot of articles, so we're, we're a news source, too. So if you go to Environmental Coffee House, you can get your daily environmental news. You want to your Facebook brand. You like my page? You go to it every day and read your articles? I do it all for you. Thank you. Thank you for holding this. Oh, here they come.
thank you so much. I want to thank everybody for sharing. This is like really fantastic. It's just the not ending. It's never ending. I mean, we have, I don't know, 500,000 people up. I'll get run over. Yes, but he was nice enough to pick up the cart. go 
to the end because the beginning stunk because I got cut off. So thank you, Vicky. Hi, you're live on Environmental Coffee House. What's your name? Susan. Hi, Susan. Where are you from? Brooklyn. All right, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Woo! <laughs> love it. I love the enthusiasm. It's just freaking fantastic. What a day. I took her to the demonstration still. Oh boy. Look at this. Cleveland! Hi there! What's your name? Hi Jenny! You're live on Environmental Coffee House. Say hi to the world. beautiful ones I've seen. Thank you so very much it's for being for here. It is, it's all for the children. That's why I'm doing this. Thank you so much, ladies. You're beautiful. Just beautiful. They were beautiful. Who isn't beautiful here? This is America. And all I can think about is the song, This is America, Just You and Me, John Mellencamp. And if I had some background music, that's what I would put on. This is America for you and me. <laughs> oh, I think my friends are looking for me. Let me find them. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way. And they might be looking for me. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Look at this. It just doesn't end. They were sitting over here. Uh, I buy the mailbox, guys. Where are you? I... Yeah. Oh my God. Surely. Okay. This is Charlie. I have to go. I'm going to turn off for now. I gotta find my friends. I'll be back.